everyone, this is Crystal, and today I'm back with another 12 by 12 layout. My challenge for today is to work with the April mood board, and um, you can see how gorgeous it is. I love the colors, the yellows and pinks and blues, and these um, butterflies or moths really stood out to me. So I think I'm going to incorporate some of that kind of feel to my layout. Um, I have a background already done, so I apologize for not videotaping this. I didn't think it was going to work out, to be honest, and um, I didn't think I'd be using it, so I didn't turn the camera on, but I will show you quickly how I, I made this. Um, so I used the color kit for April and um, the exclusive stencil that is designed by Paige Evans for Hip Kit Club, and um, I used just some modeling paste and I just use the modeling paste I have in my stash and I'm not crazy about it. So I'm not going to tell you what brand it is. I'll let you use whatever you have or um, maybe ask Missy what she uses. But um, yeah, I'm not crazy about the modeling. You can see it, it, it didn't react well with the water. But I anyway, I used the modeling paste and just a cheap plastic palette knife um, to lay the modeling paste over the stencil and then I let that dry completely. And then I used the two um, Lindy's Stamp Gang Magical Powders that came in the kit. I did not use the blue one, I just used the peach and the pink, that's Fuzzy Navel Peach and Pink Ladies Pink, um, and used them both while they were wet, so they kind of mixed and mingled together just to create kind of a watercolor look around around the modeling paste. And um, like I said, the modeling paste didn't react well with the water in some places, but um, I think that is just the brand that I'm using. So anyway, that is the background of my page all done. I have a photo of my niece at my brother's wedding. Um, this is the photo I'm gonna scrap. I'm going to be using the April kits. Uh, so I'm just gonna put you on fast forward and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick out the papers I want to layer behind my photo. And I, I end up being a little bit picky about the ones I choose. I go through pretty much all the papers that came in this kit, uh, trying to pick out the ones I want. And part of the reason is that these are the only pattern papers that are gonna be on the entire layout. And I wanna make sure that they represent the colors that I want to use um, and have a good balance of color in them. And also partly because there's just so many pretty papers here. It was really hard to decide to narrow it down to just a couple that I wanted to use. Um, so you'll see me playing around. I try lots of different combinations. I'm not sure how many layers I want behind my photo. I generally don't like more than two or three uh, just because I feel like um, it's it's it just feels like too much to me. I end up only going with two here um, but I, I pretty much try all of the combinations before I settle on which two, two to go with. Uh, I end up going with that um, super light pink cardstock. I really love that cardstock as a layering piece. It's it's almost white. Behind a photo, it almost looks like a white border, um, but it's not, it's pink, and so it adds that little bit of color and little bit of contrast, and I just really love the way that it looks behind a photo. So um, I'm using that first, and then I'm going to use uh, paper number 16 from the Horizon Collection, the one that's sitting on top of my layout right now, uh, just because it has all the colors that I'm, I'm, I want to bring in. It has the orange and the pink and the blue and the dark pink. Um, so that's what I'm going to go with behind this. And um, I'm also doing a super thin border of the pink and a bit wider border of the pattern paper. So it's just a tiny little border of that pink cardstock and then a bit wider border um, of, that, of the pattern paper uh, just to show more of the color that's in that pattern paper. And you can see I always use my little guillotine trimmer to, to do the final um, trim around my photo just because I feel like I have more control and it gets a straighter cut. Um, so now I'm gonna work on my title. And uh, funny story, I have the wrong title on this page for about half of this video. So um, in my mind, I'm thinking, um, I want lots of flowers on this. If you remember in the um, mood board, there was a, a, a picture of a pink background with a bunch of flowers kind of on the left side. And that's the look I'm going for. I have that kind of watercolory background and I'm gonna put a bunch of flowers on the left side. And for some reason, I was thinking 
my title was going to be Flower Girl, um, but my niece wasn't the flower girl. She was the ring bearer. Um, and there's a whole funny story that goes along with that, which is going to be my journaling. And so I'm not sure why I put Flower Girl down. I was just thinking flowers, I guess. Um, but I will change it. I don't glue it down. I don't have to tear it up or anything. Um, I'll figure it out here in a little bit. You'll see, you'll see the point where I, I figure it out. Um, and then I switch it out for Ring Bearer. But for a little while, there's going to be the title of Flower Girl on this page. Um, okay, so now I've pulled out the uh, die cut pack of flowers from the Horizon collection that was in the kit. Um, and I'm just trying to decide which ones I want to use. I thought I wanted to use the ones with the white border because I felt like they stood out better from the, the watercolor background or the mixed media background. Uh, but I couldn't really get them to work the way I wanted them to. So I decided to open up the other package, the one with um, the flowers that don't have a white border on them. And I start playing around with those as well. Still thinking I might use some of these white border ones, but um, I don't end up using any of them. I stick with all of the ones that are like individual little flowers um, without the border around them. Uh, and then I'm going to add in a few other things to kind of make them stand out a bit better from the background. Uh, I'm sticking with ones that are in the same colors that I've chosen here. So staying away from the light blue, staying away a bit from um, that bright yellow, although I do end up including a little bit of that. Um, so here's where I decide to use this gold piece, this gold floral die cut uh, from the um, Maggie Holmes Sunny Days collection to add to my flower cluster. So that's the thing that's going to kind of set it apart from all of that mixed media behind it. And I'm just looking through all of the other bits and pieces from this kit to see if there are any other flowers I can include. I'm trying to get a good mix of dimension and texture and um, just trying to get all the things on this layout pretty much. Uh, I wanted to use everything. This, this kit is so gorgeous and the combination of all of these um, these elements, these embellishments is, is just to die for. So I was having a hard time not just putting everything on the page and, and I do end up using a lot of it. So um, you will see in the end. Uh, so um, just kind of layering, playing around with this flower cluster and it's really, it's not um, structured like a bouquet or anything. It's really just a cluster of flowers that's going to be on the left side of my photo, kind of like there was in that mood board um, photo. Okay, so I went away for just for a minute and um, taped down the corners of my layout. It was it was warped a bit, and I didn't um, I didn't flatten it overnight before I worked on it. So I needed to tape down the corners just with some double sided tape onto my desk so that it wasn't uh, moving around quite so much and that it would lay a bit more flat. And I have opened up the other ephemera pack from the Horizon collection that came in the kit, and I'm just going through it and seeing if there's any little bits that um, I want to include on my layout. So I really liked these tags, and I thought I might do a cluster of tags um, at the top corner of my photo, but I don't end up keeping those. I end up um, only using one and in a different spot. I do a different little cluster up there, not using those tags. Um, but for a minute, I thought I thought they might look good up there. And there's so much in this die cut pack, so much I could have used. Uh, I had a really hard time, again, deciding which parts to use. So I did know that I wanted to include some of the moths that are in this collection because, again, um, I'm taking my inspiration from that mood board and there were the um, kind of butterflies or moths on that. So I know I want to add some of those. I felt like the cluster needed a little bit more contrast, so I'm adding in some of the, the kind of periwinkle blue and um, darker blue um, leaves from the little leaf pack that was in the flower die cuts. Uh, and then just looking through any other of the flowers that might work, I'm, I'm starting to think I might build another little cluster there um, below my title, but my title isn't staying, so neither does the cluster. But I'm really just playing around with all of the embellishments and trying to decide what I actually want on the page. Um, I'm starting to edit down a bit now. I'm thinking maybe I want a cluster um, on the right side of the photo, kind of tucked behind the photo. Um, and I do end up doing a cluster there, although um, that changes quite a bit as well. Still playing with those flowers. Um, I'm about to figure out that I have the wrong title. Um, I find a couple more moths and add those to the page. 
and um, I'm thinking about where I can include these tags and that one is going to stay there so that does work out and I think um, I tried the yellow one but I really liked that kind of corally pink one a lot a lot more so that's the one that's going to end up there um, like I said just looking through all the things there's so much here and here is where I figure out I have the wrong title. So I went away and picked out the new title and did not make you watch that. Um, but now, now I can finally um, get to work on finishing this layout now that I have the correct title down. Okay, so I'm just adding all these little bits to this cluster. Um, like I said, it's just kind of a messy little cluster, but I really love the way that it turned out. Um, just adding all the layers I can, filling in all the little gaps, um, kind of overlapping some and putting some underneath, um, making it look kind of um, just like a natural little bunch of embellishments there, I guess. As natural as a bunch of embellishments can be. Um, okay, so I decide I definitely want to um, add some foam dimension behind my photo. So this will help it stand off that background a little bit more than, than it would otherwise. Um, and once I've done that, I realize I'm also going to have to um, pop up this floral cluster. So I add a little bit of foam and I'll end up adding some more foam here in a bit. And this is just um, really inexpensive craft foam that you can get at any big box store. It has adhesive on one side. You can get it with or, or without the adhesive. Um, I like to get it with the adhesive because it makes my job a little bit easier. Um, and I'm just cutting it up into tiny little bits to fit it behind all of these little florals. You can see it bends really easily so you can um, use it in, in little areas that aren't perfectly straight too, which is really nice. Um, yeah, still playing with those tags, but like I said, they're going to end up, that one at least is going to end up on the right side of the photo. So I'm, I'm not sure why I was so indecisive on this layout. I just wanted it to be perfect. I think it was such a special day and it's such a special photo that um, I didn't want to mess it up basically. So um, it's still going through embellishments, still picking out things that I want to include. I'm making a little pile of stickers over to the right. Um, I eventually, yeah, put them up on my little plastic sheet so they don't stick completely to my, my table. Um, and that way they're there and I remember about them and I can add them to the layout as I have space. Um, so here's that Dear Lizzie sticker sheet that came in, um, in, in the kit, and these are the dimensional Dear Lucy stickers. I really wanted to use that orange um, kind of rosette, but I, I it just didn't look right. It was too orange. I, the orange I'm using on the page is much more of a muted orange, and that, um, that rosette was just too bright. It would have been great, but um, it just didn't look quite right to me, so, so I did not use it. And here I'm finally committing to adding that tag to the right side of my photo and um, just trying to figure out what else I can I can layer there with it. And I started a different um, cluster up in the left top corner of my photo um, and I'll, I'll continue to build that as we move forward. Um, Oh, this little, um, it's its kind of a journaling spot, but it's got like a floral edge. That's going to be the other element that I add to that right side cluster. And then I'm just going to tuck in um, a flower, although not that pink one. <laughs> it was too much pink on pink, so I'm going to end up going with kind of a periwinkle one instead. And there, that one. And uh, I do cut it in half because you can only see half of it, and I don't like to waste any of these gorgeous little embellishments. So um, I figure I can I can probably use that other half at some other time. So uh, I just snipped it in half to, to save it. And I'm still playing with what else I can include there. It feels like it does need something else. Eventually I'll figure it out and, um, and add another little embellishment there, but it takes me a bit to figure out what exactly will work. Uh, I'm just gluing everything down and because I have all of that dimension in my background, all of that uh, modeling paste, I do have to use um, some liquid glue and then I just set my stamp block on top of it for a few minutes and walked away and um, let that glue dry a bit to, to make sure it's, it's stuck well to the background. And then again using some liquid adhesive to glue down all of these acetate letters. Uh, again because I have uh, mixed media on the background. The liquid adhesive is really the best thing to get those to stick. 
And then I'm going to do the same thing here with my floral cluster, um, but because I had that dimension behind my photo, I needed um, the other half of this to be a bit higher. So um, I added another strip of foam and then some um, adhesive, and then again just using my stamp block to weight that down and until it dries a bit. Um, so now that I have the correct title and my um, the gap in the title is in the right place, I can start building a little cluster there. So I have a heart die cut from the Horizon Ephemera and again some more flowers. I think this is probably the most flowers I've ever put on a layout, um, but I just really love how it turned out. I'm not a huge floral person normally, but it seemed fitting for this for this wedding photo, even though she was not the flower girl, it still seemed appropriate to have flowers on this page. Um, so I added one and I just changed the leaf. It had a green leaf, but there isn't a lot of green on this page. Um, so I just switched that out, cut off the green leaf and added a little periwinkle leaf instead. And I like that much better. Um, I'm also adding one of these puffy stickers. I think these, this sheet of puffy stickers might be my favorite thing from this kit. I love it so much. I've used almost all of it at this point. Um, that little sticker that went underneath the title says, smile and let the world wonder why. And it's the absolute perfect color for this layout. And it just gave that title somewhere to sit. It was the perfect embellishment. I was so happy when I saw it and added it to the, to the layout. Um, I figured out that the other thing I needed in that em embellishment cluster was more gold. So I have gold on in the flower cluster on the left, but that was it. That was the only gold I had on the page so far, and it really needed to be in at least one other place. So I cut off one of those little hearts from the um, gold uh, die cuts and added that to that cluster. And then I typed up my journaling um, just on my typewriter, and I'm just trimming out um, little strips that I can add below the title. And um, I journaled about why she was the ring bearer, uh, which is why putting the wrong title on this on this layout was um, just so hilarious, I guess. Uh, her name is Brilly, it's my niece. Her name is Brilly. My brother calls her Brilbo, Brilbo Baggins. Uh, so it made absolute sense that she was the ring bearer in his wedding. Um, so I'm just finishing off the layout now with some gold splatters. There are tons of close-up photos coming up. I hope you enjoyed this process and I hope you got some inspiration out of it. Um, be sure to check out the description below for links to all of the things I used, including these gorgeous kits. And um, I will see you all back here soon. Thank you so much for watching.